Question 12 is a probability problem and we're drawing without replacement. So we're drawing from a bag, a box with five red balls and three blue balls. Now you could draw the tree diagram, but what the question wants is the probability that at least one of the balls is red, that at least one. So it could be one, two or three balls that are red or any combination. Now, if you do the tree diagram and work it all out, you'll get a few different options. You'll get red, 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 blue, red, blue, red, red, blue, 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 red, red, blue, red, blue, 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 red, and blue, blue, blue. Those are all possible outcomes. You'll get those eight different outcomes if you draw the tree diagram. The quicker way is to use complementary events because the question is asking for the probability that at least one of the balls that John selected is red. So any of these outcomes will satisfy this statement. So the only one we have to concern ourselves with is this event and then find the complement to get the probability here. So what's the probability that he draws three blue balls in a row? Well, for the first go, we're drawing three out of a total of eight, and then we're not replacing them, right? So we're left with seven balls, and we've drawn a blue ball out, so we only have two to choose. Then we're not replacing them, so we have six balls in total. And then there's only one blue ball left to choose. So we get six on 56 times six. You can cancel those sixes, we get one on 56. So that's the probability of getting three blue balls in a row. So the probability that at least one is red at least one red is one minus that it's the complement and the complement is 55 on 56 and that gives us the answer e